How you doing? Welcome back inside my grow room. What you're looking at right there is day 30 of my San Marzano grow. Uh, if you are by chance just tuning in and didn't watch my first video, flip back a video or two and check out my uh, how I started these, how, how I set the nutrients up, bubbler buckets, that type of stuff. Uh, I put seedlings in that were about two weeks old, so this is 30 days later. Uh, I put the seedlings in on January 16, 2014, and today is February 16, 2014. And quite a bit of growth. They look really good, actually. Uh, they're uh, getting uh, branched out quite a bit. Uh, nice, nice leaf growth. Uh, everything looks uh, pretty doggone good. I mean, the gr leaves, uh, they're not uh, rolled up or folded or anything. Nice green growth on them. So. What they do need is, uh, now it's time to kick into maintenance mode, okay? They need to be suckered, and they also need to be uh, strung up because I've got some stakes in here right now, and that is what is propping them up. If I take the stakes out, they fall right over. So uh, they're getting a little top-heavy, so time to do some maintenance. Now, i got something real cool to share in terms of how to do a simple nutrient change on a deep water culture. A lot of people will put in uh, grommets and spigots on the bottom of their buckets to drain them out. Um, to do that, I, I don't do that. Uh, and the reason I don't do that is because if I put a spigot on the bottom of my bucket, that means I need to raise it up uh, to a certain level to drain it out. And I need to maximize my space in here with only, uh, whatever, 9, 10 foot ceiling. So, I bought a little device uh, that is a battery operated siphon off of Amazon for 15 bucks. So let's do a quick nutrient change on these things. Uh, I'll do one, one bucket for you, uh, show you how I do it real fast, and, uh, and then we'll start suckering and stringing. So hang out with me for a minute. If there was the king of Italian tomatoes, it would be the San Marzano. Prized for its paste style tomato, if you will. Uh, these are obviously not grown in the San Marzano Valley of Italy. However, they are grown in a cold Michigan basement. So, we need to do a quick nutrient change. Okay, so, how do I do that? I bought this little puppy right here. Check this out. Battery operated, two D, two D cell uh, batteries, and it's it's real simple. You need two buckets for this. Actually, you only need one, but uh, to make expedite this, you need your uh, what I call, I guess, a dump bucket, and then you also need your nutrient bucket to fill it back up with nutrient. And I got it bubbling away right now, mixing up some nutrients. So, what do I got going on in there? I got four teaspoons of uh, Dynagrow Bloom, four teaspoons of Dynagrow Grow, and three teaspoons of Calmeg. I don't know what the parts per million are on it. Uh, I did check the pH, it's about 6.0. So we're good to go on this. Uh, I am putting the Grow and the Bloom in. We are at uh, week four and I'm going to transition these babies over into the bloom so that is why I'm doing grow slash bloom I'm giving them a little transition now as a quick um, note to this since day one of transplant of seedling I have done zero nothing nada have not changed the nutrient have not put any uh, haven't had a need to top off anything uh, like I say, seedlings do not need a lot of nutrient, a lot of water, or anything like that. But at this point, uh, they probably have eaten up uh, whatever nutrients that a plant this age requires. So, I am going to change it out, um, mainly for the fact that I don't want what's called nutrient imbalance. Uh, because plants at different stages need different stages of nutrient, and they'll take what they need and leave the rest. When they take what they need and leave the rest, you'd then have nutrient imbalance. So, let's change these babies out, give them some fresh nutrients. Now, I always change them out with uh, the pumps running. 
I, I think it's good because if there's any sediment at the bottom, hopefully it's being dispersed uh, throughout your nutrient, and I want to suck that stuff out of there. Now, check this out. They have um, eaten up, I don't know, about a quarter of the bucket of the water to this point. Uh, but at this point, they're really going to start taking it in. At, from this point on, they're really going to start taking it in. So, all I have to do is put this little baby right in here without crushing the plant or the oh, 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 oh. sorry leaf dude dude okay anyway and then I turn it on ah! pretty sweet right and this goes pretty fast like a minute and this thing will be full I can then uh, switch it over then I just have to switch the device back and run it backwards and um, put the nutrient in and that is it man that is it it is that simple so I'll cut back in in about a minute okay so I had to turn the uh, pumps off because I'm done mixing up my nutrient in that bucket and the metal halide runs on the same circuit that the pumps do so I apologize if the lighting seems different now. It is because it is. My metal halide's off. So I apologize for that. Regardless, uh, it's been about a minute, minute and a half. Uh, the old nutrient has been extracted out to the waste bucket. Now I just got to uh, flip this over and pump the nutri new nutrient solution back in. So all I have to do is take that out. Do, 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 do. And then... Flip this in like such. Huh? You see where I'm going with that? Flip it back on. And we're filling back up. And it is done. Two, three minutes, and that's all it takes to extract old nutrient and replace the old nutrient. I time lapsed it, of course, because who wants to watch this forever, right? So, hey, my metal halide just kicked back on. Sweet. Ha! Huh. Ain't that awesome? Anyways, uh, so that is a super easy, quick nutrient change process. I love it. It's cool. Uh, it takes a couple of D batteries, and it, it goes pretty decent, right? So uh, with that being said, now let's move on to suckering and staking. So what am I going to do? I'm going to start peeling off these little suckers right here. All right, we don't need those anymore. I'm gonna grow this baby single stem up this string. Boof, mm -hmm. right there. And so, let me get that started, uh, clipped up, and we'll close it out. Okay, so now they've been de-suckered, uh, trimmed up a little bit. And if some of them look a little jacked up, it's because they are jacked up because they are now going to be trained to grow up strings, which I have all set up now, tied back to the bucket and to the ceiling. So like this one, for instance, I had to kind of uh, do a little side bend there and then it's now going to loosely grow up this way. So. Right now, it looks a little funky, right? I mean, it looks like it's all tipped over, but you know what? It's completely supported. The roots are still in the nutrient solution. Everything's good as gold. Um, it's going, from this point on, it's going to grow straight up a string. This one kind of looks a little better. Um, and then, of course, this one will illustrate it the best. Where it will just grow straight on up now. Uh, cool, uh, cool factor is, is I'm on day 30, and what is this? If I can get in there super close, <gasps> those are going to be little tomatoes. And it's quite crazy how, like, robotic plants can be, right? Because if you go right over to the next one, yep. I don't know if that can focus so close. Well, anyway, if you can't see that, that's a fruit cluster in there. 
and that's just crazy robotic man like on the same day each plant just sets fruit so sets fruit it's got little buds on it okay so listen we're at uh day 30 from transplant i will come back at day 60 i expect these things to probably be unless i kill them between now and then which is a possibility oh probably halfway between here and the ceiling and maybe some flowers and maybe the first clusters of fruit so uh, check back in with me in about uh, day 60. I guess that'll be San Marzano Grow Part 3. This will conclude San Marzano Part 2. Hope you enjoyed. Again, day 30, nutrient change, and they are now being strung up to the ceiling. Single stem. Uh, peace out, fool. No, that's not my tag word. Boom!